it's not going to be easy to record this video. Like most videos like this, you have to treat it like a kitten. You have to be soft and delicate. And you have to be caring and you have to be careful what you say because words can be very, very triggering sometimes. So I'm going to be very, very, very careful. But I'm going to start off by taking my coat off because to listen to this. That's not what you want when you're watching a video. The noise of leather. Depression doesn't have an image. It doesn't have like a thumbnail. It doesn't have a front cover. What I'm trying to say is depression doesn't look like anything. For example, some people might say, oh, are you okay? And then you go, oh, in all honesty, I'm a little bit depressed, I'm a little bit down. And then someone else will say, but you don't look down, but you don't look depressed. It's like, well, yes, there's self-diagnosis, which can be very, very dangerous. But at the end of the day, we feel these things, we feel sadness. Some of us feel sadness on an extreme level. We have insecurities and stuff. But just because we're not showing them doesn't mean we're not feeling them. And also the fact that we're not showing them anyway it is an incredibly brave thing. Some people give in to their uh, insecurities. Some people are insecure about what they look like, how they act, what their hair looks like, and like little things like that, how they're talking. I mean, yes, there are signs that you can look out for, like if someone's covering their skin up in the sense that they don't want to be seen like their flesh. That isn't necessarily a sign of depression but it's a sign of someone being shy. When you're around someone who's shy, you have to be careful not to be overpowering and be really scary. That'll make them want to go away, if that makes sense. Everyone's shy at some point in their life, you know, everyone at school, even, even the most outgoing people are shy sometimes. But in all honesty, depression doesn't look like anything. You shouldn't stereotype this video is in black and white. I only chose black and white because I'm filming in a really bright room. There isn't any easy way to approach talking about depression because it affects so many different people in so many different ways and not everyone can get it right which is why I'm sort of speaking in a fairly vague manner I just want to reach as many people as possible if I speak to a select few then obviously it won't be relatable but whatever your story is, whatever situation you find yourself in I hope it gets better and I'm sure it will get better I know obviously words are easy to say sometimes doing is difficult but I hope you find your way. I hope you get out of this slump that you're in. Everyone has creative block sometimes. Everyone has days where they don't want to speak to anyone, days where they don't want to eat anything. There's days where you want to be like a blank page. There's nothing wrong with being a blank page as long as you start to colour in that page again, as you start to write the words of your life again. That was very poetic. Sorry. I'd like to ask a question to you guys because I think it'd be nice to sort of reach out to you and ask a question. If you were to take a picture or paint a picture or set a scene that is depression, what would it look like? I know it's a fairly deep question, but I just want to know. I mean, we say things that look depressing, but really, I'm not very good at explaining things, as you guys know. Life is beautiful. But sometimes we're wearing sunglasses and we can't see the bright things in life like the sun and our parents smile and our friends smile and brilliant music like 1975 and just, oh man, yesterday. I'll tell you about it at the end of the video, but just like, oh, I'll tell you now. Basically, yesterday I recorded a video to Love Me by 1975. Fantastic song, brilliant song, one of my favourite songs on there new album, even though it hasn't come out yet. I don't know why I said that. YouTube, being the way it is, decided to copyright it, fair enough. Blocked it in all countries. So I was like, all right, fair enough. I'll change the music slightly and upload it again. Nope, didn't work, blocked. Did it again, blocked. I actually made it, I made it so fast that it was 15% faster, blocked. I gave up with YouTube and I put it on Vimeo. So I had to create a Vimeo account just to put a video of me on a meagle dancing around to love me with all these strangers and all these watching me dance and stuff. It was very, very strange. I'll put a little clip of it here. It isn't the whole thing, because they don't want YouTube to kill me and there's no sound, but, it, but this is what it looks like. I hope it looks good and stuff. It's in black and white, but the actual video itself you'll see is in colour, but I thought if I put colour here, I'm just going to stop talking. Anyway, thank you for listening and watching. I hope you're well, I hope you're happy. And if you're not happy, I hope you're happy soon. Find your happy place. And if it's on YouTube, then that's fine. If it's in your boyfriend or girlfriend's arms, fine. And be honest about what you're feeling.
please be honest about how you're feeling. You know, reach out to people. Because there's nothing wrong with hiding it away. But the strength and the pride that you feel in yourself when you tell someone that you adore or you respect what you're going through, what you're feeling right now. The weight, the weight that gets lifted off your shoulders is so immense. It's so large, it's so amazing, it's so big that I implore you, I encourage everyone to try that at least once. If you like this video then please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, feel free. If you'd like to subscribe to my second channel, please do Sam, Cham blah, blah, blah. Sam Chaplin 2. It's I'll put a link in the description. I'll probably forget, but Sam Chaplin 2. Cool. Anyway, love you all and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.